Tigers have had a long history in Indonesia, particularly on the island of Java. After the extinction of the large Nagendong tiger and the Trinil tiger, the species wouldn't be present on the Sunda Islands until they recolonized the archipelago around 110,000 to 12,000 years ago. As of today, only the Sumatran tiger is known as the last surviving tiger population in the Sunda Islands, with an estimated 400 to 600 individuals left in the wild. Fortunately, these may not be the only remaining insular tigers after all. Ranging from the jungles birthed by the Krakatoa eruption of Ujang Kulon to the mountainous terrain of Maru Batiri, Javan tigers were once the apex predators on the island until they were deemed a pest and began being hunted in mass. Though they were declared locally extinct by 2008, with the last proper sighting being in the late 70s, there were still eyewitness accounts of these big cats ranging from footprints, the discovery of a body of a hiker that was supposedly attacked by a tiger, to locals reporting to have actually seen these tigers. Sadly, there have also been several hoaxes and misidentifications with another native big cat, the Javan leopard. In August of 2019, however, a resident named Rippy Yanur Fajar reported seeing a tiger at a community plantation near Chipendui village in West Java. A hair sample was found on a nearby fence, as were several footprints and claw marks along the same area. The DNA in the hair was examined and compared to Sumatran tigers, a Javan tiger specimen in a museum, and the Javan leopard. The examination found the DNA in the hair distinct from Sumatran tigers and especially the leopard, but remarkably close to the museum specimen. The study would not be published until March 21, 2024 by Cambridge University via their conservation journal, Oryx. However, some scientists have questioned the validity of this finding. An evolutionary geneticist, Lo Shu Jin, has addressed concerns of the hair sample becoming contaminated during the process of analyzing it. A postdoctoral researcher by the name of Anuhab Khan, who studies tiger genetics, has reanalyzed a hair sample with a team of other scientists. While addressing that the DNA matches an insular tiger subspecies, he's found it difficult to assign it to a specific subpopulation. This could mean that while it could after all belong to a Javan tiger, there's also the possibility of it belonging to a Sumatran tiger, or somehow even to a Bali tiger. While further studies need to be done, including a proper survey of its would-be habitat, these findings could potentially give further credence to the possibility of tigers still thriving on the island of Java. With the Sumatran tiger still in decline, and the Bali tiger tragically extirpated, the possibility of the Javan tiger still existing could provide some semblance of hope for the Sunda island tiger populations and for Java's ecosystem as a whole.